All right, everybody, welcome to another God of War video. Today we are going to be taking on the Berserker King. In order to do this, you do have to beat all of the other Berserkers, or else he will not be unlocked and you won't be able to do anything. Uh, so with this fight, it's really important that you note that you are going to need to switch a lot between your different weapons, so make sure that you have practiced with weapon switching because you will be changing almost constantly throughout the fight. I started out with the spear here, and it did a fair amount of damage to him, um, but he will change periodically in other things that... Uh, you'll need to change other weapons to break through. Uh, so once again, you're going to want to kind of make sure that you attack him and pay attention to what attacks he is doing to you, or else you're going to get thrown around like a ragdoll like I did here at the beginning of the fight. Uh, so when you see the red circles, as always, you can't do anything about that. You're going to just need to uh, dodge away from it. If he does this, jump up in the air. Don't dodge right away, because if he dodge as soon as he jumps into the air, he is going to land on you. You want to give it a couple of seconds before you start rolling away to jump past it. When he starts charging like that, you want to do your shield block. That's the L1, L1, uh, so that you will rush in and interrupt it. When he does that charge towards you, you want to go ahead and just move to the side. When he does that Bifrost up in the air, you want to get Freya to attack him or... Um, if you have Atreus with you, you can have him attack him as well. But basically, whenever he goes into the air to do his Bifrost attack, you don't want to let him complete that because Bifrost, as anyone who knows has been playing by now, is really, really bad for your character because it allows them to take and melt off multiple, multiple amounts of health from you. So you don't want that to happen. Uh, once again, I did. there's the Bifrost attack. Go ahead and hit that one with Freya. Uh, the fireballs, don't let them come to you. Shoot them down with the axe or with your spear. Another reason why I like the spear in this one. Uh, so that I can throw it easily without having to change too much. You can parry these attacks that he does to try to punch you if you time it properly. So be careful about that. Don't get overconfident with it. But you can parry that as well as the uh, boulders or the little stones or fireballs or elemental balls that he throws at you, you can parry those as well. Another great thing about the spear that I like is it builds up that bar on the bottom, which will allow you to do a massive amount of damage if it completes it. Uh, I like the, uh, the one that allows you to freeze time for a second because it allows you to get a lot of damage, so that's a good relic to have. Uh, once again, if you don't block that attack where he smashes them together, it just melts you completely, and you don't want to risk that happening, uh, so be ready to not get hit by that if you do get yourself trapped in a corner or something like that remember you do have your spartan rage that will let you get started uh, i also recommend bringing with you a resurrection stone because it's highly likely that on the first try you will get uh hit by this guy and possibly even killed um so yeah this was my second run through with the berserker king uh so i definitely did get destroyed the first time i played it uh, so be aware that he is a very tough opponent. Uh, I like these spears too for another reason. They do a lot of damage when they explode, so if you can over time like load him up with all the ones that you can, like all six or seven of them at each time, you will be able to do significant amount of damage to him when he actually uh, when he actually detonates the rest of the spears, as you'll see when I finish uh, filling him up with spears this time. So see how much damage that one did just by letting him get hit by a few of the spears? Yeah. And definitely block those. Don't just let him wail on you like I did there. If he does this attack, uh, you can't interrupt it with your special attacks. You could also just go ahead and uh, use your shield if you're far enough away from him or roll out of the range of the damage. So once again, the spears loading up on him uh, will do you quite a bit of damage against him. Um, but yeah. Once again, when he goes in the air, don't stick around. He will mess you up pretty badly. And just keep repeating the process. Remember when he does that, if you don't stop him, it doesn't matter how far away you are from him, he will completely roast you. So you don't want to let him get away with doing that. There he goes, he changed to another element, so I'm going to need my Blades of Chaos if I'm going to do any damage to him. i got to get rid of his Frost Shield. So I'm going to go back to my normal Spear after I've gotten rid of his elements. Uh, the Spears definitely seem to interrupt his aerial attacks as well, so that's something to consider. 
Uh, once again, you could parry those, but I don't like to risk it because if I mess up on the parry, it will mess up the rest of that battle, and I don't want to end up losing this close to the finish line uh, just trying to be a show-off and parry. Once again, if he tries to do the Bifrost thing, he'll actually say Bifrost. Uh, you want to make sure Freya does not uh, let him do it. He is very close to the end of his life here, and we are very close to the end of this video as well. Pretty soon he will go down, and when he does go down, he gives you perhaps one of the uh, best uh, relics that you can get in the game, which lets you use all 12 of uh, his Berserker's swords against an enemy. Uh, and in my fight against Gina, this was uh, something I could not have won without. So... Beating him is definitely worth doing. If you're struggling with Gina, beating him before you go after Gina is really helpful as well. And you can block that attack that he does along the ground. Uh, when he's in that Bifrost mode, you don't want to get close to him. If you get close to him, any of his attacks will deal Bifrost damage to you, which will let him roast you very quickly. You can see that just by being close to him there, uh, I got Bifrost inflicted on me, which if I get hit now, will do that. It'll rook my uh, health pool, and I can't afford that to happen happen this close to the end of the fight so and another thing as you begin to beat him and damage him certain amounts he will drop uh, those health crystals make sure you collect those guys they are important to you if you are going to actually survive this battle and not just get murdered once again you could parry those attacks there but it just wasn't worth the risk for me especially with how low my health had been getting at this point in time I would rather play it safe and get away rather than just try to be fancy and show off here at the end and lose my head over it here we go he's about to go down just keep avoiding him there don't stick around when that happens Here we go, Freya once again, saving the day. Don't let him collapse those spears. Bam, bam, he is toast. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you found anything in it helpful at all, please consider dropping a like because uh, some of these videos do take quite a bit of time to get to the point where you can actually beat the guy. So uh, if you found anything helpful about it, consider dropping a like for me. Uh, otherwise, uh, feel free to leave a dislike because that helps me to gauge what I can do better. If you do leave a dislike, please consider leaving me a comment so I can think about what I can do to improve in the future. Once again, thank you guys for watching the video this far, and I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful day, and good luck uh, destroying all those enemies in God of War. Bye-bye. Future generations will weigh its good deeds against the bad and decide for themselves. You've come a long way from when I first met you, brother. I have had good counsel since then, brother.